Good enough. What's going on, y'all? I hope that you're having a wonderful day. My name is Jonathan Yan. Her name is Tessa something. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Did I already say that? Welcome back to yet another episode of the Truck Camper Renovation Series. Now, in the last video, you guys saw us preparing to put a new floor in. I said that I was going to be putting in a new floor, which we will. We will get to that in this video, I promise. Quick disclaimer. Now, I know that I said that we'd be doing the floor in this video, but unfortunately, we're not. But after reading some of your guys' comments, actually, I realized that I'd probably save the floor until last just in case we do any other dirty job that involves stuff that potentially could drip down onto the floor and make it dirty that being said we're not going to install the floor in this video okay now back to it right now we're actually gonna be installing the kitchen counter because we realized that I don't know it just makes sense to have the kitchen counter in there so we could analyze and assess what color the kitchen counter is gonna match how, what color floor the kitchen counter is gonna match with. And we just wanna put the counter in first because that just feels like the next step. So we're gonna start doing that and uh, Tessa's got her coffee. So that means we're ready. It's gonna be a good day, woo! I'm a little too hyped up. She's, she's not matching my energy right now. All right, let's get started y'all. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what 60 bucks at Ikea will get you. Classic Ikea instructions. It's more like a fifth grader's coloring book than actual instructions. All right, now I'm really glad that we actually decided to wait on the flooring because the floor that we were gonna get did not really match this countertop. And some might say that you could just switch the countertop for a different one, but that's not how we roll, yo. I guess Tessa doesn't trust me with power tools, I'm specifically power saws. Jeez, Sorry. look how far she is. She's standing way back. Oh, crap, that's a cool car, look at that. sawdust in my coffee oh uh -huh. that's a very very sad sight it really is wasted coffee there's not much worse than that besides maybe wasted beer <laughs> well as you guys can see the counter looks beautiful in here it really matches the aesthetic like it just looks really high-end really nice but big hairy butt we accidentally mismeasured so we we actually had the cut right at first and then we trimmed some off and now there are these gaps on either side and it's killing me it's killing me Larry like I said we actually had measured completely perfect but the issue was 
there's this little door frame right here. And so when we first tried to test it out and lay it down, obviously it wouldn't fit through that door frame. So we were like, oh, let's just shave off half an inch. But what we should have done was just left it the same size and then lift it like past this door hint, door frame, door frame, and laid it down into place. And then it would have been perfect. And now we have these freaking gaps and I don't know what we're gonna do, but it looks really good, right? So after quite a bit of deliberation, I was toying around with the idea of getting a new counter. I was thinking of trying to do some kind of caulking in between, but the gaps are gonna be too big. I was thinking of doing some like quarter round trim to fill the gap on the counter and the backsplash, but all of those, all of those ideas, although they would work, I think, I think I found a better idea, a better solution, which is something like this. They have these little pieces here that basically go over, well, I got this one to go over the edges where these two, these two boards of wood meet. This was just gonna be like an aesthetic to cover that corner so it looks clean. But I think that it's gonna be perfect right in between this gap. I'm gonna have to get bigger ones, but then that way there's not gonna be a gap. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. It's better than getting an entire new counter because that would just be like a complete waste if I wasted this one. So I think I did talk about how I'm gonna do it, but I didn't show you the actual piece that I got. This is that little corner guard and see how nicely that fits in perfectly right there. And then from afar, it just looks like a little decorative touch. Hey! 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 All right, we're back. And after a lot of deliberation, I figured out a way to make the gap work. I think I talked about this already, so I'm not gonna talk about it again, but we took a couple days off because my back was really hurting and also my elbows. I have He's tennis elbows. old elbow. man. Yeah, I'm an old creakety man. But we're back and we're gonna cut out we're gonna cut out the sinkholes today, the sinkhole, the stove hole, and then we're gonna mount this sucker and hopefully all goes smoothly. Once again, we've uh, we've hit a little snag in the road. We were about to start cutting. Well, we were making our markings to start cutting. And then I realized that the sink I was going to use, these screws came with the original counter, which was a lot, it was a lot thinner. So the new counter, since it's really thick, these screws won't go all the way through. And that's the way that the sink mounts to the actual countertop. So it's not gonna work, long story short. And the stove, stove also, like I, I think we get it to work, but it's kind of like, I don't know. We're gonna have to reevaluate and like maybe go get, for sure we have to get a new sink and maybe a new stove, I don't know. <sighs> Fun times. We got a new sink. 30 bucks. 30. Ikea's so weird. They always have like this like huge cra crazy drastic range of prices. There's like some stuff that's like really expensive, but then there's also like one or two just like crazy cheap budget options. The counter we got at Ikea too, and that was only like 60 bucks. Very nice sink for 30 bucks. stove that we're putting in it's actually the original stove we cleaned it up it took like a couple hours to clean it up but it's looking a lot better it doesn't fit <laughs> we just have to cut it's okay it's okay it's not a big deal we just have to cut the, the these lines further so we basically just have to extend the cut 
to go all the way to eh, right there. Right now the cut ends somewhere around here. We just measured to the wrong spot. Not a big deal. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> goes everything and here goes nothing <laughs> it's not working <laughs> this is I'm a really bad carpenter I guess this <laughs> see this level of commitment y'all this is what you got to do to get it done work in the dark I know it's dark out, but look how good it looks! It only took us the entire day. It took us three days, woo! And it's still not done because the counter is not even mounted, but it doesn't matter. This is the, uh, the big moment. Gonna see our work for the first time in the day. Hooey! Look at that! Uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks good. We did good. Kind yeah. of. It took us like five tries, but we, <laughs> the finished product looks good. Yeah. So I'm not gonna actually have a faucet. This is just a decorative piece. This is the little hand pump sink faucet that we're using. Got it from good old Amazon. Good old Amazon. It's nice. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be mounting it off to the side. So that way if I decide that down the line I wanna do an electric pump, I still have the center spot available to put a new faucet in. So we're gonna put this one like on the corner of the sink rather than like on the center. Jackie. My buddy. I actually had this out yesterday, which is why I was right here, ready to go. So we have successfully, after a little bit of tribulation, created the hole for the faucet. But the stupid thing is this thing doesn't have the adapter for the plastic tube, the water tube to attach to it. So now we have to go to the hardware store to get it before installing this guy in there. boy that we got we got some more tubing because the tube that was already down here wouldn't reach all right we got the sink and the faucet installed now we're gonna mount the actual counter to the frame and then put the stove in mount that
mounted. Whew, my knees. My poor little knees. Should have been wearing knee pads. Like the gardening ones, you know? <laughs> much the final product. So I'm actually kind of having a hard time trying to figure out when to start a new video, when to end the video that I'm working on, because I'm, I'm basically just working on the camper every single day, and I'm filming every day, so I don't really have set in stone points where like, this is the start of this video, and then this is the end of it. I kind of have to just like, get a bunch of footage and then film these like, intros and outros and just like, slap them all together and hope for the best. So I apologize if it feels a little bit choppy. But that being said, I am going to end the video here. We got the kitchen counter installed. You also saw us put like some of the trim on the corners and the edges of the cabinets. That's looking really good. The hood got put up. There's things are starting to come together. We're, we're really working on all like the small little more fine-tuned details at this point. There are a couple more big things we've got to do. We still have to install the floor. We still have to build some kind of drawer or like not drawer. We're gonna have to build some kind of like sliding mechanism for my cooler that's gonna be plugged in. I know that there's little things that keep coming up along the way and it's just really making this last stretch of the renovation the final stretch take so much longer and I'm so ready for it to be done already like you guys you don't understand how badly I want to be done with this like it's getting to the point where I'm just so over it when little things come up it's like ah a freaking nightmare but that's just the nature of the beast i guess right now i do want to let you guys know that next week i will be going on a week-long road trip up to utah to meet my sister and her boyfriend i'm gonna travel down through utah from the northern part to the southern part they're actually going to be staying in tucson arizona for a couple weeks so we're going to join them tess and i my girlfriend we're going to join them on that leg of the journey from utah down to arizona that being said there's going to be a brief pause in the truck camper renovation a much needed pause at this point i guess i could say and i will be posting a couple fun camping road trip type videos along the way to so look forward to that and I know there's gonna be people asking me what happened to the truck camper did you give up where'd the truck camper go and all those questions yet again but just know that I'm letting you guys know now that it's gonna be on pause for about a week or so and with that I'm going to end the video thank you guys like always for watching if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing you guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own live life Beat the status quo. <laughs> Do all of that fun stuff. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys back here in the next video.